the internet hates this guy. So this guy's name is Hassan. He is a stand-up comedian and YouTuber. His YouTube videos are popular. They lead him to hosting his first TV show on MTV. His career starts to take off. He even starts his Netflix show for a while and then goes on to win awards. He interviews Barack Obama and becomes the front runner to be the permanent host of The Daily Show. Everything is going great for Hassan until one day this woman decides to fact check his stand-up specials. In 2023, this woman Claire, who works for the New Yorker magazine, decides to dig into Hassan's comedy. She finds out that some of his stories aren't true. Now it's just the stories in his stand-up she talks about, not his TV shows. So she writes this article basically calling him a liar and the New Yorker magazine publishes it. It blows up, getting picked up by a ton of other news outlets. Comments are flying because everyone is super pissed. Claire goes on and does some news media herself, but thankfully Hassan doesn't lose everyone's support. Other veteran comics come forward and they start to take a stand for him. It's what we do. We yeah. tell stories, then we embellish them. That still wasn't enough because some people were not having it. Not long after, the organizers of The Daily Show dropped a bombshell on him. Hassan wasn't going to be hosting for them anymore. So, Hassan responds with a 20-minute video. To anyone who felt betrayed or hurt by my stand-up, I am sorry. He says sorry and explains that some things were real events. Racism, FBI surveillance, and threats to my family happened. He brings actual written proof and then calls Claire out for misquoting him. They misled readers by excluding all of that and splicing two different quotes together. This video also blows up getting millions of views on YouTube and TikTok. Finally, the internet is on Hassan's side again, but Claire and the New Yorker still stand by their story, claiming their information was based on interviews. Unfortunately, this doesn't get Hassan back on The Daily Show, but at least he won over the internet. That's something.